Well, boys and girls, you join me on the first ever time of taking the CBR out for a ride on some twisties. So the riding today is probably going to be a bit slow and steady. But um, you might be able to guess from the, what kind of seat that is where I am. I have come to Orange Road again. Just look at the colour of those leaves. Beautiful. So yeah, today just going to take it easy. Um, trying to get used to riding a sports bike again, so I'm just going to sort of practice my body position and stuff like that. Um, but it's actually a really good day today. It's uh, December the 13th, I think, and it's like 16 degrees centigrade outside. The road, I took one run up already and the road's nice and clean. No debris on the road or anything like that, so we can go at a reasonable pace today. So yeah, let's get on the bike and go for a ride. This is the the first part of Orange Road. This is a hotel, Japanese style hotel at this place here. Which has got, I, I was kind of tempted to go in, but I thought I didn't want to push my luck. Got some bikers there. Body position hanging off. Man, I just love this road so much. On the way up, I didn't see one other person. Kind of, it's getting uh, getting used to riding a sports bike again. It's not coming so naturally to me. I think I haven't ridden a bike like this since 2010, maybe since I since I made a mess of my leg on a FZR 1000. And uh, yeah, it sort of feels weird after riding, you know, like KTM's and the MT07 for so long, like upright naked bikes with big wide handlebars and obviously I'm tall so it doesn't help oh, oh I can't ride this bike Body position right at all. Literally hanging off the bike, it feels so unnatural. Oh. And very tiring as well. I think just sitting in a neutral riding position is so much easier. <laughs> Look at his views, man. So nice out here. This is probably like Japan's version of the California Valleys, where they grow the wine and the oranges out in Austra uh, out in California. Can you believe this is December? I'm sure loads of people watching this are going to be like calling me brood names because they put their bikes away for the winter and it's snowing outside and stuff. Here it's still lovely. What's up? That could have been Matey Boy from the shop yesterday. I met a guy yesterday who rides a um, 
orange and black are one which I think that was not orange and black, yellow and black like an angry hornet I don't suit sports bikes. I need to, I need to get myself a naked bike again. It does sound good though. I learned on that little journey then that little trip well <laughs> this bike is ridiculously fucking uncomfortable for me it's totally not I don't know it's just not fitting my body I'm too fucking big for it it feels so cramped mm, I don't know man might have to just get rid of this damn bike and buy an MT-09. Who have you though? Can you believe this is the middle of December? Man, I love coming here. But <laughs> I'm really not enjoying this bloody bike. As much as I like to look at it and think it looks awesome and cool and everything, it just, it's not really me. Which is a bummer because I've just bought a load of spare, more parts for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know guys I think I might have to sell this fucker anyway let's continue on with today's riding and see see if I improve I'm going to put the camera on the tank now just see if, see if I'm getting cool shots but anyway see you guys soon oh. That was cool.
<laughs> I'm already losing. <laughs> I got my ass handed to me then. <laughs> oh dear. Wow, it's my first time on the bike still there. <laughs> Alright, the excuse book's coming out now. <laughs> uh, yeah, well they were fucking quick old boys, eh? No mistake in that. There was one guy on a 600. One was on, I think, an R3 or something. It sounded like a single. And the other guy, I think, was on a DRZ 400 Supermoto. But they handed my ass to me! <laughs> well, uh, the fuck, why can't I shift? Uh -huh. the fuck's up with this engine? Oh, I can add that to my excuse book too. Uh, the engine's not uh, running very well. <laughs> no, no excuses. Those old boys were pretty damn quick. But yeah, I'm uh, glad I ran into them anyway. A bit of excitement for the day. But yeah, so guys, I think we'll end the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Bit of interesting action with those old boys. Hopefully I'll meet them again. I should have stopped and got their contact details, but yeah, I was a bit embarrassed. <laughs> right, so the CBR runs, it's sort of okay. It's like... Um, when it gets warm, it sort of misfires a little bit, but I haven't changed the plugs or coils or anything yet, so I need to give it a real, a good service, I guess. I've just been fucking about with um, making it look good and getting it road league on shit, and I haven't really given it much uh, proper, proper maintenance yet, so I think I'll change the oil and change the plugs um, next day off. But anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video, and please give me a like or a share or if you feel like it, please do subscribe. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Ciao.